In this example, I'm going to solve this first order linear differential equation. And it's a pretty simple one and straightforward. So let's go ahead and remind ourselves it's first order because the highest derivative is the first derivative we see. And it's linear because it can be written in this form y prime plus some function p of x times y equals some function q of x. And of course, p and q are both functions in x. All right, so it looks like our equation is already written in this form, and it looks like p of x is just going to be 1, and it looks like q of x is going to be 3. So both constants, so this won't be too bad at all. So the first thing we're going to look for is the integrating factor. We'll call this r of x, and it's going to be e to the power of the integral of p of x with respect to x. Well, all right, so if our p of x we said was 1, this will just be the integral of 1 with respect to x. And that value is not too difficult to ascertain. It's just going to be, well, x. So we see that our integrating factor r of x is going to be the expression e to the x. So what are we going to do with this e to the x? Well, we're going to multiply it through this equation on both sides. So let's see what that looks like. e to the x times, and then we're going to multiply it through this equation. So every single term is going to get an e to the x. So this ends up being e to the x y prime plus e to the x y equals 3 e to the x. Well, the reason we do it this way with our integrating factor is because this left side turns into, and it looks like the derivative using the product rule. So we have e to the x y prime and then e to the x y. So when I integrate from this product rule, I'm going to end up with e to the x y, and that's going to equal the integral on this right side of 3 e to the x with respect to x. Okay, so this integral is pretty standard. So we'll end up with just 3 e to the x plus c. So in order to solve for my y now, I'm going to divide every term by e to the x. And when I do that, my e to the x is cancel here and here. So I'm left with y equals 3 plus and it's c divided by e to the x. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and bring this up and make this c times e to the negative x. And this will be my solution. And y equals 3 plus c e to the negative x. And if you would like, we can also go ahead and verify that this solution works by plugging it back into our original differential equation. So y prime plus y should equal 3. So here's y but we also need to find y prime. So when we differentiate both sides, the constant 3 goes away, and the c e to the negative x will become negative c e to the negative x. I'm going to use the chain rule on that. So I'm going to take y prime, which is negative c e to the negative x, and I'm going to add y, which is 3 plus c e to the negative x, and it says I should get 3. Well, it looks like these two terms cancel, and I get 3 equals 3. So, yeah, that works out. So, right here we have the solution, then, to our original first-order linear differential equation.